Hey everyone, thanks so much for supporting the channel. Can't thank you all enough. Imagine trying to ruin someone's reputation for nothing, right? Imagine trying to ruin someone's reputation by saying that I'm filming spit on my screen. Astrophotography, ace of space. The really cool thing is that the whole world believes it. And everyone that comes here now knows it. So the truth is going to come from you know, regular people like me or, you know, ufologists, maybe some pre professional ufologists. I know a lot of people follow a slew of people all the way from Greer to Ike. I respect each and every one of the them and each and every one of you for following um, everyone and just looking for the truth, right? Because that's what we're here to do. But when I show uh, signature signs like this and proof of exactly what the military themselves said are, a proof that there are sightings wow. they're looking for ufo traits signatures heat signatures vapor trails they're looking for high velocity signatures they're showing us signs that they're traveling at high excessive speeds and not like many of the channels that are showing ufos that aren't blurry because a ufo when you slow down the footage it's blurry even if you're slowing it down my friends it's a ufo that UFO is shaking and not shaking at the same time as the telescope's shaking. Well, it's fake, right? So right now, the image is shaking. How do you think the UFO is going to look? It's going to have to be shaking. But some people were saying that the UFO had lines behind it like that because I was shaking the telescope. No, you can't make signatures appear behind UFOs by shaking, um, <laughs> by shaking the telescope. It's gotten a lot of people mad. We're in 2020. The research is real. And no, if I was to expect this to be on media, it's not going to. And the research is here for each and every one of you to enjoy. But I'm not here to try to get on the news because I don't think it's going to happen. And if it does, in its due time, it will. But maybe just not now. So meanwhile, we're documenting all this beautiful, beautiful evidence of ufos being captured not only on the moon but between earth and the moon i have a very controversial website a channel here right a lot of people have their own opinions uh, on uh, the way i do the work but when it comes to saying that my ufos are fake it's it's touching my heart a little bit and because of it well there's always new new findings that we find in more and more proof. That's why I showed the UFOs going under the clouds. And we're going to see UFOs and some new findings on the surface. I'm, I've been talking about a light system on the surface that the UFOs have to do with the surface also. Maybe it's not necessarily UFOs that we're seeing. Um, yeah, they're unidentified flying objects, but are they actually leaving the moon? We've seen UFOs leave the moon. We know there are different types also of UFOs, which this year, you know, alien biological creatures, whatever they may be, entities, light beings, we don't know exactly, maybe we never will, but we're able to document a lot of them. And um, what's happening to the UFOs on the surface should be mainstream media. Um, I'm not surprised that the other channels haven't touched it. Um, not even gonna mention or touch that, but uh, the truth is gonna come out um, in, um, a very big way when it does and uh, let's go see my new finding on the surface and not just new finding I told you that lights were lighting up on the surface right under the UFOs let's go see great detail now of exactly what's happening and I want to show you um, guys and gals that the UFOs are simultaneously uh, moving on the surface at um, like they were on a bar right like they were following each other magne magnetically or something and that's what we're gonna go see right now Thanks for watching, everyone. So let's get right into it. Why would a light be lighting up on the surface, but underneath a UFO? L think of it, okay? The UFO is right over top. We see underneath a light lighting up. And we'll see more than that. Now, what's happening? The moment, simultaneously, the, it lights up on the right, a UFO lights up on the left. That's one finding, okay? 
But now here's the thing. How are they propelling themselves on the surface too could be possible. I mean, I'm starting to wonder teleportation. I'm serious. Notice what's happening right there over top. It's moving. See? Now, check this out. Watch the light on the left. Well, watch everything, actually. It's it's hard. You have to watch everything, guys. Look what's... I'm going forward and backwards. That's why I brought you in the editor. You can see a lot more than just watching it go by once in my video. We can really get into it. Oh, oh. What's, what's going on to the left? Light back. Light back in. When it goes back into the craft, comes back out, back in, back out. I'm proving that a light is coming out of this. They're either doubling themselves or it's... Um, because they're actually at high velocity that I'm actually seeing two frames of it, ha, that could be very possible too, right? I'm, I'm putting every speculation out there. If not, I'm telling you, it looks like some kind of transportation system, a light system on the surface, or hey, let, you know, UFOs are literally rising up out of the, the surf, off the surface. You can see the dusts behind them, the smokes. That's incredible, right? It's incredible. The size they're at, uh, about a mile wide, right? Maybe two miles. But then again, uh, don't forget, it's two miles with the light that's around it. But look what is going on. Look in the center too. There's lights uh, a bit higher onto everywhere. There's, they're, they're appearing. They're not just going by. They are appearing. They're lighting up on the surface. I don't know what's going on. You know, they talk about the moon having a framing. Watch in the center there, okay, where I just showed you guys and everything else. There too, there's a light, but watch in the center. As I go forward and backwards, watch what happens. Hang on, I'll go, there we go. So lights are preparing again to take off. This could always be happening on the surface. And this is proof enough to get every ufologist uh, on YouTube interested. Now, why would a ufologist be on YouTube, right? <laughs> uh, patience. You know, because that's, that's the difference with me is that my goal is just to show the truth. No, it doesn't have to get up to uh, higher scales. It's it's you guys I want to reach, right? And we get a chance to see it all uh, in plain view. It's very real. The research is there. I know I appreciate it, and I know you guys do too, and thanks again, everyone. If we look at quantum teleportation, we're talking about, you know, s s molecule-sized objects because we can't teleport anything bigger than that, so they say. But quantum teleportation is a process in which quantum information, the exact state of an atom or photon, can be transmitted exactly, in principle, from one location to another with the help of classical communication and previously shared quantum enlargement. What is quantum enlargement? It's a label for the observed physical phenomenon that occurs when a pair or group of particles is generated interact i mean we're literally seeing a teleportation right or an instantaneous movement you understand there's a difference something being teleported from place to place or something instantaneously being projected to another area something's going on something's not right the light look at the light at the back it goes back into the craft how come did you see that the light remains when the ufo takes off yet the light goes back into the craft and we see interaction of lights in the center this one i'm not letting go and i want you people to be interested in this one look at the smoke clouds or haze being formed again over those spotted that spotted area of three instantaneous lights that light up almost three at the same time one a bit late right i guess one was uh, didn't see the ufo arriving whatever it may be it's a light system well, every little bit of truth is going to give us, oh my gosh, I mean, we're going to document so many things on the surface of the moon, and at the same time, uh, at the same type, yes, I have it in my head, at the same time, uh, we'll get a bunch of types of UFOs. What do you think of this? These are definitely fl flybys that are too far away for me to be able to pick up properly. Yep. Oh, yes. UFO right there in the bottom right. The one that shoots out projectiles. We'll see it even closer. Slowing it down. It's not easy to see sometimes. You Look at the flaring up around um, this craft on the surface. Either you're shooting at the surface. Something's going on. Check it out. One of my favorites. Theophilus Entity. Alien Biological Creatures. Astronomy Channel. <laughs> People hate it when I say that. The trolls. But yeah. It's so very real. We're looking at something inside Theophilus Crater. 
There's pixelation, you say? Yeah, of course. Look how wide the bloody crater is, okay? Usually it's um, smaller than that circle there that you see. And yeah, just to get in close enough to see the beauty of it all, smoke trail, something, vapor trail, I don't know, behind it, but it's longing the edge in the darkness of Theophilus Crater, and that is just trippy, <laughs> okay? <laughs> They're hiding. It's exciting. There's someone up there, definitely something up there. I'm finding them in the craters. I'm seeing UFOs lift off the surf surface. We're seeing light tricks, eh? Um, hard to understand exactly what's going on. I mean, only a very few are going to understand uh, exactly what I caught with those UFOs um, going left to right. Try to look up types of UFOs. Have you seen the crappy images on the internet of UFOs? It's just, well, like mine, right? It's just this. It's a light, you know? You can hardly see them up close. It's not like we could see, like, anyways, I'm not going to name the channel. One channel did show a shape, but anyways, it's impossible to see, right? They're hiding. They're not going to put labels up and uh, they don't have, uh, you know, people funding them and with their signs and logos up on the side of their ships. So it's all hidden, whether it be secret project, alien, or both. They're there and they're very real. Probably the most beautiful things we'll ever see on the surface of the moon, who knows? Amongst other things like this, something crashing into the moon. Horseshoe shaped, whatever it may be. Here it is with an infrared color, a filter and not infrared. This is literally filming the moon with the telescope, the 14 inch telescope. And that's what we're able to see along the edge. And this change of direction, beautiful craft on the surface turning around and exposing itself this is a biological creature ufo it's unknown it's on the moon alive or not i'm showing everything that i'm seeing up there it's just absolutely crazy coming up biological creature i love saying that because it gets so many people mad who knows what they are whether i'm calling them hot dogs or potatoes i have no proof of anything but i know i know something for a fact flowers and trees here don't walk around right this thing is flying around but expanding and contracting now you know keep in mind these are all findings that along the way when they started coming um, to view and they started finding them you know I was sharing them each and every time another little object going by in the bottom very very bright object there is definitely an activity on the surface are there only UFOs on the surface no of course not so you know these UFOs could be between earth and the moon okay they could be closer to the moon sure maybe they're not directly on the moon but there's a light interacting with it on the surface now look at the speeds of it this is still slowed down because when it went by it's two seconds it's zoop and all you see are three lights and i went whoa i think i saw two or three ufos but in reality there was all this um all these months of findings in this one finding so say to yourself, say to yourself, this is why they don't want us capturing these objects. Because look at everything we're seeing happening with these UFOs. And imagine, lo and behold, right, to our luck, they are interacting with the lunar surface. Check this out. This is a second UFO that lights up with a strange mist or gas coming from it, bright yellow light that we see. And let us not forget, they are plunging in and out of these clouds or gases on the surface of the moon.